We are Hive Division, we are a VFX studio and we hate green screen. Of course, like everyone else working in this field, we've been using green screen and blue screen since forever. It's not like we enjoyed throwing actors and directors inside that green vacuum and forcing them to pretending like something is actually there. It was alienating for them, it was torture, and we knew it. We first had a taste of the solution last year when we took care of the visual effects of Il Talento del Calabrone, a film directed by Giacomo Cimini and produced by Paco Cinematografica. We created the illusion of the shooting actually taking place on top of Milan skyscraper by first shooting the actual footage on location and then projecting the plates uh, uh, onto the filming stage thanks to an array of video projectors. This experience proved all the benefits of finally getting rid of green screen. Unfortunately, projecting pre-rendered images or videos still leaves you with some limitation. Even a small amount of parallax can quickly dispel the illusion. So for the past year, we have been studying ways of using a real engine to project a background rendered in real time based on camera position and using LED walls instead of projectors in order to achieve enough brightness to potentially reproduce any kind of environment. And then, as it usually happens in our field, ILM did it first with the Mandalorian, which applies the very same technology to spectacular results. We had to organize a test uh, on a slightly bigger scale than we did before, and we decided to set the scene in the same world of our latest short film, La Fiamma. The technology is based on three different phases. Firstly, with a motion capture system, you detect the 3D position of the camera on stage. Then you use those 3D coordinates to determine how the environment would look into the field of view of the different LED walls as seen from the perspective of the camera and finally, you have those rendered images projected on the LED walls. And all of these must happen faster than the camera can record a single frame. We're only scraping the surface of what this technology can do. The benefits are countless. The subject is completely immersed in the same kind of surrounding and immersive light you will get from a real location. You need a six-hour sunset coming right up. Director, actors and artists are immersed in an environment they can interact and play with. Place markers onto props or actors and they can influence the lighting. Place your actor in a car, connect his gas pedal and steering wheel to the game engine and he can drive you through the scene. No need to send a 50-man circus around the globe anymore. Now you can send over a couple photographers, scan the place and recreate its 3D digital double. 3D elements can be added, removed, or changed according to the director's wishes. All can be done inside a single filming stage. Many people can work in VR from home. If COVID gets back, ordinary sets stop. Virtual ones have built-in resilience. A careful planning gets you 90% of the shots completed on camera. Need to shoot more scenes? The virtual location is there, unchanged and ready for you. All of this was unthinkable just a few years ago. Then Unreal Engine 4 made it possible. You want to see what Unreal Engine 5 looks like? Now, this technique is bound to change everything in the film and TV industry. It started with massive productions such as The Mandalorian, but it will quickly make its way towards smaller productions as well. And the day will finally come when we all will say, green screen, your services are no longer required.